Raise your hand for Tilly. Uh, Mason. Hey, Jeremiah. So down the stretch, Mississippi State had a lot of big plays with alley-oops or fast break points, and the bench seemed to be get, getting really into it. How much importance do you think that having an active bench during games when there aren't as many fans is important? Um, I mean, having an active bench, it brings a lot of energy when, like you said, when you don't have fans. So it just keeps everybody in tune into the game. Dave? Jeremiah, where did you think this game got away from you guys? You were in such control in the in the first half. Um, In the second half, uh, it kind of got away from us. That's on us. We don't really have time to be like having games to learn from. So that's like, that's on us for real, for real. Mitch? Jeremiah, Mississippi State obviously shot at a really high percentage in the second half. Did you feel like, you know, there was things you could have done differently on the defensive end or was that just just their guys making shots? I mean, they got a run while they was at home. We tried to stop them, but they just kept rolling. And I mean, what we was doing wasn't completely working. So like like you said, they had they had got hot. And once they got hot, we, it was hard to like turn them off. So that was on us. Sweetie. Hey, Tilly. Consul just mentioned this a little bit, but he, he kind of talked about how you guys are being ranked. It's, it's a little bit more. You guys are hunted a little bit, um, especially on the road. Just Do you kind of feel that from the opposing team, just a little bit more intensity uh, now that you guys are, you know, highly ranked and all that? I mean, we got to know that personally. I mean, if if we play a team that's ranked, we're going to feel like it's our job to go out there and, and show them why we should like be ranked type stuff. So, I mean, we should already know, well, we already know that we got a target on our back and we got to play like that. We're going to get everybody's best game when it comes to playing us, especially on the road. So we got to do our job and make sure that we always throw the first punch because we're going to always get everybody else's best. There. Jeremiah, what's the best way as a player to kind of flush out what you saw in the second half? Is it just to get back on the floor Saturday? What is it exactly? Can you say that again? Sure. Um, obviously, second the second half is not your your team's best. As a player, how do you get you know past that? Is it just to get back and play another game, or how how do you do that? I mean, like I said, we don't really have time to be learning from games, but we got to learn from this one and watch film and move on to the next one. Um, we don't really have time to too much time to dwell on like the loss. We just got to keep keep moving and learn from our mistakes. Come. Jeremiah, Mississippi State had three fouls and you guys shot no free throws in the second half. Just what did they do to take you out of the game by that aggression style? Or, or what did you guys stop doing in the second half that you weren't doing in the first? Um, I mean, they just kept attacking and kept attacking. They was getting to the uh, paint and that's how they was getting a lot of fouls. Um, I didn't even realize that you that we didn't even shoot no free throws that second half. That you, now that you said that. Uh, Jack? Jeremiah, you were on the bench with foul trouble for a bit of the second half when uh, when Mississippi State was kind of going on that run. What's it like for you as a player sitting, uh, being out while the other team is going on a run where you can't really do anything about it at the moment? Um, it hurts. I mean, of course, I've been through this a lot, but you know, nobody want to be on a on a bench when you know you can be out there helping your team when you're in foul trouble, and especially when we're away on a run and you know you can be effective towards the game. It, it, it just it sucks watching, honestly. Well. Hey, Jeremiah. Uh, Mississippi State had 51 points in their second half off only two three-point attempts. So most of those came in mid-range shots. There was a couple times you had to pick up in the in-between area. Uh, would you kind of credit their success there to tough shots or maybe more – you need more help I mean, on the back side? Or? I feel like we was playing solid defense. They was just hot. I mean, we was at their house. They was – they was taking a lot of tough shots, and they was just, like you said, they was like a lot of mid-range. They was getting to the basket easier than what they was in the first half, and we just couldn't stop them, and that's just on us. But they was taking a lot of tough shots and making them. Anything else for Jeremiah? Thanks, Tim. Thank you. All right.